Hi, I'm Brenda Valencia here with an introduction lesson about our pronunciation topic of today, which is word stress. And word stress needs to focus on syllables, which will be talked about, vowels that are stressed, but not the consonants, and then one stress per word. So we're going to look at what does that look like. Now, when we think about English words, we notice that there's words that are made up of parts that are called syllables. And I know I've talked about those in Dictionary Day, such as the word dictionary, dictionary, four syllables, dictionary. And each one has a vowel, and that is where it's at. But where is the stress? Which one? And we'll be looking at that. Now, each syllable has one vowel sound, and we put stress on the vowels, not the consonants. For example, when people are singing, do, re, mi, the stress is not on the consonant, but on the, on the vowel, because the vowel is the one's being held out for the longer time, and it can get louder. Now, in going with this, we also notice that each word only has one stress. Even though there's multiple syllables, like dictionary, there's only one stress. Now the question comes up for people who are learning English because native speakers, they just naturally do this without even thinking and they don't even think about what the rules are. But yet the questions do come up and there's two. Where is the stress on the word that has more than one syllable? And are there any rules that can help us make sense of all this and yes there are five rules and we in those five rules we'll talk about where is the stress on each word well let's look at the first rule the stress is on the first syllable we'll have a lesson about that the second rule the stress is on the last syllable we will have a lesson rule three the stress is on the penultimate syllable second to last syllable now, rule number four says the stress is on the antepenultimate syllable. So it's the third one before the last. It's the third one. And then rule number five, compound words. Which one, where's the stress on those words? So we will have many lessons to address all five rules so that you can learn how to speak more naturally in sounding like a native, which many of you are trying to do. So therefore, we're going to look at word stress and how does that help you pronounce words clearer and better.